Hi folks, welcome back. This is DN Ready from Inhouse Trainings, Hyderabad. Today we see uh, how the switch statement works in Swift. Basically, let's say uh, one use case. I have an A is uh, based on the A is uh, I need to display something. I have different blocks of code: one block, two block, three blocks. Uh, I have five blocks of code here. Four blocks of code uh, code here. I want to execute based on the condition. If your person's a is equal to equal to one or equal to equal to two, you are free bird. If a person's a is three to fifteen, I want to display something. If a person's a is twenty, I want to display something. If it is sixty or more than sixty, I want to display different things. If you see, this is very. Uh, it is not much readable and much expressive. It has if multiple if else conditions. Instead of using uh, unreadable and unexpressive. clumsy uh, if statements uh, we have something called switch statement switch statement uh, actually takes uh, a value as input um, and uh, it uh, matches with the different patterns we can have n number of patterns these patterns are defined by k statements and uh, uh, the switch statement in swift must contain the default case must contain the default case and uh, the case are auto breaked in other languages you must place the break to stop the once the pattern is matched with the value in our case in in case of switch swift statement we don't need to use this by default um, case sir auto breaked see the example here it is much expressible here i am just giving uh, as as input and checking with two values this is one way of declaring cases this is here i am giving the ranges 3 to 15 this is the range operator we are using and uh, if you want to give only one case you can give 18 20 and uh, this is case uh, you can take the value and you can perform some uh, conditions here these are the various uh, different ways of uh, uh, defining the patterns you can have multiple values here uh, range single value and there is something called fall through if you see here there is no break statement by default if the age is 1 or 2 only this statement will be executed and uh, switch statement is auto breaked so rest of the statements will not be considered and uh, if you put uh, fall through what happens uh, if the user says is 20 you are going to display this statement uh, and uh, this statement as well the fall through what it does is uh, in, uh, irrespective of the statement uh, um, irrespective of the pattern matching it uh, executes the next block next upcoming blocks or else we say next to below block and uh, if none of them none of the cases are matched none of the patterns are matched the default statement will be executed Let's see. Putting a breakpoint and running it. Currently, the age is, is declared here. Defined here. Uh, age is five. Five is between uh, three and fifteen. Come on. Yeah, check with the uh, one or two. We're directly checking with the uh, three. Uh, th the is uh, five is between three and fifteen, so it is getting uh, executed and uh, rest of the statements ignored. We have one more example here. So see till this. Let's say. A is equal to I am giving eighteen, or else let's say one at one. It is not there in the patterns. It is not there. Make it variable. Let's run it again. If the value is not matched with any pattern, it displays the it executes the default case. It is executing the default case. You are responsible for family. This statement is uh, displayed from the if, if statements what we have here. You are responsible for family if it is not matching with any of these cases. And uh, let's say uh, let's give twenty. Twenty. 
20 it is not matching here it is not matching here it is matching here and we have fall through here right let's see what exactly the fall through does fall through you are eligible to get married if user uh, person says is 20 fall through and uh, it is also being executed though we have given 20 the case here is 18 it is not exactly matching though it is printing that is what uh, the fall through does irrespective of the condition irrespective of the pattern matching the next upcoming case will be executed basically these two are dependent if it is uh, user's age is 20 it is uh, above 18 so that i am doing all this stuff here is good for vote okay if it is uh, 60 above 60 above 60 i am doing something it is uh, below 60 actually right is is below 60 uh, let's make it above 60 if it is above 60 i am doing something here uh, 65 picnic time or traveling time For the old people, it is traveling time. Clear the console. Go here. It is age is taken here. Age is greater than 60. It is picnic time. It's picnic time. That is what it is displayed. See one more example what we have here. The case is uh, actually doing here. The value is not matched with. This is a. Uh, I'm j I just want to print only the even numbers. Oh, that is not the case here. Mm. I'm checking. I'm taking value. I'm taking value the input value whatever I am passing here, and uh, checking whether it is even number or not. Okay. Basically, I'm just uh, showcasing you here. We can use the uh, condition statement in switch case pattern. That is what I want to show here. It is ten. Okay. Let's see what this statement does this is 65 remove this input value what we have here it is 10 it is matching here let's say if it is 20 24 22 the value is taken here 22 22 percentile 2 it is going to be 0 it is even number if you go 21 the value does not match any case only the value is not matched with any defined cases or patterns and not even that's it Thank you for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe. Thank you. Thanks a lot.